We've all been through those periods where we want to get work done, but we just can't. You sit and scroll on your phone, you get distracted by Instagram, you find a baddie's profile, and you end up beating to it. And by the time you realize you've wasted hours of your day, it's too late. Then the day comes to an end and you promise tomorrow will be more productive. You promise yourself that you'll finally go to the gym or you'll finally start that project that you needed to get done. But tomorrow comes and you still never do anything. So if this is you, how do you fix yourself? Motivation isn't going to be there all the time, but discipline will be. Without the discipline to do things that we don't want to do when we don't feel like it, we won't get anything done. That's why everyone scrolls on their phones because it's so much easier. Your mind will always look for the easy option. But through discipline, you can change your entire life. And I'm going to show you how to make the work you do feel effortless. And once you apply these to your life, there will be no looking back. See, discipline like anything else is a skill that you need to develop. The same way you train your muscles in the gym is the same way you need to develop your discipline. It's constant repetition. Once you've been going to the gym for year after year, going to the gym is easy. Imagine one version of you. You wake up and work on your business, you go to the gym, you read, and you start the task you've been putting off. Now imagine the other version of you. You wake up and scroll on your phone for two hours. You shower, then you sit on your desk and scroll on your phone for another hour. Which version of yourself is going to have a higher chance of succeeding? It's obvious, right? To develop your discipline, you must learn to play to your strengths. In order to make things happen, you have to learn that flowing with the river is going to be easier than walking up a steep hill. It's like telling a tennis player they have to play a game of football tomorrow. It's not going to go well because they're not good at football. First of all, understand where you are in your life. You can't expect to do the hard work if you've never done any hard work before and also figure out where you want to go. What do you want to achieve in your life? If you want to do anything that's worthwhile, understand that it will require sacrifice. This is the importance of discipline. So write down a list of things you're good at. Don't solely do something because someone else told you to do it. Once you have a list, find out what you truly want to do with your life and create a plan for yourself to stick to. This is your purpose. Now your purpose may change or pivot, but to see success will require effort and constant repetition. Once you know what you want to do, work on that every day, even if you only do 30 minutes worth of work per day. This will build the discipline muscle and this way you're flowing with the river. The best way to strengthen this discipline is to structure your day around your purpose and do habits that will help with this. If you put a donut in front of a fat geezer versus someone that works out and watches what they eat, who is more likely to eat that donut? Obviously the fat person. So what's different? It's discipline and the way the two different people view what eating the bad food will do for them. The fat guy thinks this tastes good now, whereas the guy in shape understands the consequences of his actions in the long run. I'm not saying you have to always reject the bad things, but reaching a level where most people haven't reached will require doing actions that most people haven't done. Structuring your day with habits will keep you consistent and will allow you to get into a routine where you can enter flow and find your rhythm. So create a list of a few tasks that you will do every day, no matter what. And don't go to bed unless you've completed them. You have to constantly do the hard work and it will compound over time. For me, this list looks like working out, which is four days a week, and going on a walk or kickboxing on the days I don't hit the gym. Four hours of deep work per day, reading for 30 minutes, praying and journaling every single day. The best way to assure that you complete these habits is to plan tomorrow before you go to sleep. Put your all into what you do. This is from the minute you wake up because how you do one thing is how you do everything. Chances, if you're not putting your all into your workout, you're not going to put effort into other areas of your life either. You can't expect results to come overnight. Things compound over time. Yeah, missing one day of the gym isn't a big deal, but imagine missing one day a hundred times. You're going to be way behind where you could have been. The goal is to build momentum. Once you've done the good habits for a long enough period of time, they'll become so much easier for you. 
All it takes is to show up and doing what you don't want to do consistently. This will also build your confidence because you are turning up and doing what you said you would do. Understand what pain will be worse, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. For me, I know not doing what I want is worse than doing the hard work because I feel like shit knowing I did absolutely nothing that day. It plagues my mind and I struggle to sleep knowing I didn't put my all into that day. Finally, you have to understand that the perfect circumstances to start will never exist. But if you're waiting for the perfect conditions to start what you know you need to do, you'll never begin. Remember that professionals perform in imperfect conditions and to be the man that your future son can be proud of will require sacrifice now.